Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Chicago, Illinois, home of the Premier Print Awards, the Oscars of the printing industry. Tonight, we're going to be recognizing the very best of the best in the industry. And speaking of the best, this company, Body of Work, Bob Armstrong's amazing company out of Australia, is going to be winning another six prestigious bennies this year, taking him over the 100 benny mark the most prolific winner in the history of the award competition. And what is the link between uh, Rolls-Royce, Body of Work, and Trivet? Well, um, it reminds me of a, a quote by Sir Henry Royce, when he said, strive for perfection in everything you do. Take the best that exists and make it better. And when it does not exist, design it. And so for us, uh, Trivet needed a publication that represented its brands and uh, Frankly, the body of work has the same DNA as our brands. This is what we received, and uh, we're immensely proud of it. And we're thrilled that the American Premier Print Awards awarded the body of works as the best publication in the world, so Henry Royce would be proud. Well, right behind you is the art print regarded as the world's finest art print. Yes, and we're immensely proud to have it in our showroom. This masterpiece of Hannah Fraser by Bob Armstrong is the famous Behind the Florentine Veil. The premier fine art awards in America awarded it the finest fine art print for that year. The tactile qualities of this masterpiece is truly extraordinary. This is a Benny, appropriately named after that great American innovator, Benjamin Franklin. The Benny is to the fine art world what the Oscar is to the film industry. Extremely difficult to win and much sought after. Testimony to the excellence. Now, you know when we have our Benny Awards, we usually have a very colorful character from Australia who has usually with, armed with two beautiful models, you know, Bob Armstrong. Unfortunately, because of a schedule conflict, he was unable to uh, be with us this evening to accept some of his awards. So his good friend, Jay Mandarini, will accept his Bennies on his behalf if you can come forward. Jay, I think you have a couple of words to say first before we present the awards. Hi everybody, my name is Jay Mandarino. Uh, Bob Armstrong, an incredible man, philanthropist, gives back to his community, but he is one of the best photographers in the world. His quality, his detail is absolutely phenomenal. The piece here that he's now won up to 100 bennies, which is more bennies than any person on the planet, is phenomenal. You can take any of the pieces and look at them and you'll see the detail, the quality. And Bob is involved in every aspect of the production of this piece, from the beginning to the end. He has the best of the best, and that's why he wins all the time. And it's an honor for me to have him as a mentor, and maybe someday I'll catch up to him. And this is a poster of one of the most award-winning printers in the world, our good friend Bob Armstrong. It's oh, amazing. He's a great guy and he wins every year. As a matter of fact, he's won over 100 bennies. 100 bennies. It's just unheard of. It's you know, I'm so excited that I'm up to 43 now, but he just you're, inspires me. You're doing very well. You've got a lot of work to do to catch up. Thank you very much.
All right, the Silver Award was earned by the company that racked up a very impressive 21 certificates of merit, 24 awards of recognition, and 11 bennies. Congratulations to body of work, Bob Armstrong. Hi everyone. Sorry I can't join you in Chicago tonight, but I'm stuck in this tropical rainforest. We're doing a shoot for Body of Work's latest production called Beauty and the Beast. You would have met Anna at the awards last year. Anna is the beauty. And this is the beast. His name is Herbie. Come on Herbie. Say hello to everyone. Everyone here tonight's been drawn with a common purpose, and that's the excellence of print. This is the Holy Grail. This is what inspires us to try more. It certainly does for us, and we're grateful for the recognition that we've been shown since we've been in this event in 2012. Currently, we are attempting to produce our most ambitious project ever, and hopefully, it gets recognition next year because there is nothing I would like more to be here next year to join you. I'd like to thank Michael Macon for running this show so well and the man behind the scenes, Mike Packard, the invisible man who you don't see but he makes the whole thing work. I hope to see you next year.